<laughs> we go to the grocery store to buy dog food, we go and choose and spend 10 minutes or more looking at the different kind because we want to give our pet the best food. Well, we should at least have the same attention to our food. Most men are knowledgeable that their equipment uh, needs routine care, so they'll take their car for a routine checkup but then they don't go for a checkup themselves. They don't think they need it, and uh, that is just a wrong message. Life is busy, and we all do a million things. We have work, we have family, we have some hobbies, and health does not come as a top priority when you think you're young and strong and nothing bad's gonna happen. Many times I meet patients when they're admitted to the hospital with a heart attack, and I tell them this is a day that you will never forget. It's a day that you will change your life. From now on, you have to take this even more seriously than you have. If you think you're having a heart problem, act immediately. Time is muscle, they say, for the heart muscle. So if you're concerned that you or a loved one is having a heart attack, call 911 right away. I repeatedly have patients that tell me that they thought it was indigestion and just wasn't going away and they decided to come a day later or two days later. Family history is very important. You should know what your family history is like. And that does not mean only your brothers and sisters and your parents, but also your uncles and your grandparents. And then there are the more known risk factors where high cholesterol, diabetes, and high blood pressure that are really the three main reasons why people have heart attacks, especially at a premature age. And they have treatment for it. And so once, once you have been identified with those, there are certainly Healthy lifestyle and exercise can help, but there are many medications that can really save your life and reduce that risk. And then, most important probably risk that we can certainly eliminate very easily is smoking. And I, when I, when I speak with my friends and my patients, I think it's really stupid to expose yourself to this easily avoidable risk.